All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Akim out there that's pushing this 100% truth. With all sincerity, faith, and with charity, this is your brother Ashman of Great Millstone, Miami Camp, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Shai. Okay, this is uh, going to be some words of encouragement concerning the times that we're going into. Uh, a mix of uh, encouragement with, with, with truth, with honesty, and, and reality. Okay, I don't have a title planned for this lesson, but something along the lines of we have the best case within the worst case scenario okay the times that are fastly approaching are according to the scriptures according to biblical prophecy we know it to be or will be the worst times that this planet earth has ever seen since the beginning which you can literally called the worst case scenario. It's, it's literally going to be the worst case scenario. Okay, everything that can go wrong with this planet will. Okay, everything that can go wrong here in Babylon the Great will. To the point where eventually it will be totally annihilated. From sea to shining sea by intercontinental ballistic missiles, thermal nuclear missiles, at the cusp of World War III, which is brewing up right now as we speak, which is being talked about right now as we speak. And there's no way around it. There's nothing that we can do about it. We can't stop it. And we shouldn't have a mindset of wanting to stop it. You got a lot of these Christians you know, uh, so-called Bible-believing Christians, but they love America. Why? Because this is their this is their home. This is their place, right? They understand part of the scriptures. Well, I'm not gonna say understand, but they, they may have some knowledge of part of the scriptures, part of prophecy, and they may be able to see certain things, but ultimately, they reject the truth of America being Babylon the Great and that it will be utterly destroyed by fire as the scriptures say they don't want to believe that they don't want to hear that part so they say things like pray for America let's pray that you know we could turn this place around because they do know that it's wicked they do know this alphabet agenda shit is going mad right they do understand their government is corrupt like hell but they still don't want to see this place utterly destroyed because this is all they know. And ultimately, this is their kingdom. Whether they be Christian, whether they be Catholic, whatever. Atheist, Scientologist, it don't matter. If you're an Edomite, this is your kingdom now. Right? And that's, that's, why, they, that's why they're getting ready to fight for it. But us that know the truth us Israelites, we understand that this is just the land of our captivity. We're just passing through. And we, we, we know that according to prophecy, this place must be destroyed. So we're totally with it. We with this place being destroyed. But at the same time, we live here. We dwell here, right? We have families here. And we're not looking to escape physically right now. We understand that we have a job to do here in America, which is to prophesy against this place. Okay? So that's the sign of faith right there, to know that, for us to know what's coming to this place, right? And to believe it, that's a part of faith, but also to say, I'm gonna stay here, knowing the judgment that's coming here, I'm not going to get a passport and try to find my way out of here. I'm going to stay here, prophesy against this place, 
and ultimately, you know, uh, expect for the Lord to deliver me when, when the evils come. And ultimately to deliver me when the chariots come and when the missiles come. That's faith. That's high level faith. Okay. And and because of our faith, Lord, when we be of that elect, the Lord is going to reward us with what we actually expect. And that's for him to be with us through these evils, these sad perils, like it says in uh Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, which that's that goes right along with what this topic is. But again, I'm driving, so I can't hit all the precepts. But um, let me get this. This is Daniel chapter twelve and one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time. So there you go. Worst case scenario. That's clearly speaking about the worst case scenario. Every evil, every horrible thing you could think of all happening at once. Just one black swan event after the other. Market collapse. Martial law. Plague, real plagues, civil war, World War Three, Esau coming down like a, a, a madman, sparing none. It's just gonna be evils on every side, okay? But it says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, which means you have to be of the elect. And it says that Michael's going to stand up for them. Michael being the chief angel on the right hand side. The chief angel of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai on the right hand side. Okay, Micah Allah, who, who was like the most high. So the elect have nothing to worry about, although it's going to be that bad. It's going to get that bad out here. If you have the elect, you have major protection coming your way, a major hedge coming your way when these times hit. Showing you that's that's the, the best case. What better case do you have than Michael standing up for you, right? The, the, the chief angel on the right hand side of Yahweh Bashem Yosha. You can't, you can't ask for a better bodyguard than that. You can't ask for a better hedge than that. Right? So again, ultimately, that's the literally, literally the best case within the worst case scenario. Okay? So that's a beautiful thing. And that's, that's what we're hoping and that's what we're hoping for. That's what we're, that's what we, we're striving for. That's what we're pushing and fighting for. To, to actually be covered in those days. And it's gonna, it's gonna uh, reveal a lot about uh, who we truly are in the spirit. So we welcome the challenge. The scriptures say the Lord won't put anything on you that you can't bear. So we're moving into this thing with faith as the three holy children moved with faith into the fire, praising and you know giving thanks to, to the Lord. Going walking into the fire, saying we believe the Lord is going to deliver us from this fire, and even if He doesn't, we still not going to bow down and worship your idols, King. And and what happened? They were in they were in the fire in the literal furnace with the Son of the Most High in the fire with them, controlling the elements so that they won't burn. So they were literally in the best case scenario within the worst case scenario, being uh, burned alive, being threatened with being burned alive. And, and, and as the scriptures say, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, then shall the uh, spirit of the Lord lift up a standard against them. So we're not afraid of, of the times that's coming. We're not afraid of 
the evils that's coming. We understand how the Lord get down. He's very dramatic. The scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved. So there's going to be times where, where it may look like you're not going to make it. And at the last second, you're going to make it. That's, that's literally being in the best case scenario within the worst case scenario. Okay, so that's 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 literally the, the story of the elect's lives. Okay, so again, that's just something real quick I wanted to speak on. Just something to meditate upon this this uh, morning, Monday morning, going into the new week. Just some uh, inspiration, motivation to keep pushing because we want to we want that hedge we want that protection we want to be in the best case scenario within the worst case scenario all right we, we, we you're gonna need that balance or you're gonna be like the rest of these people out here totally through totally panicking afraid losing your shit which shows that you you don't have faith but to those that have faith and then and maintain their faith maintain their trust in Yahweh Bashem Yashai maintain their fear and Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And not let the fears of this world take over. As it is written. The Lord has not given us a spirit of fear. But of power and of love and of a sound mind. If you can maintain that. Hold on to that. Then you will find yourself in the best case scenario. Within the worst case scenario. Giving yourself a, a, a great chance at enduring to the end. So with that. I hope you were edified. Lord willing, with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, HaKadash, and unto the next one, Shalom.